Are you ready for another fine, fine show? Yeah. <laughs> well, this first gentleman has opened up for uh, such acts as uh, Dana Carvey and Sam Kennison. And you may have seen him in the MC uh, Hammer video. Here comes the hammer. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes Brian Copeland. went shopping, picked up Stephen King's new book, Stephen King fans. All the stuff this guy writes, Firestarter, The Dead Zone, Christine Carey Cujo about a rabid St. Bernard. This is a twisted puppy we're dealing with here. Worst part is, is he's got small kids. Can you imagine how messed up Stephen King's kids must be? You want daddy to tell you a bedtime story? No! We had one here in San Francisco, of course. Costa Rica just had one. Soviet Georgia. Iran. Aww. You think maybe that was God's way of going, you know, I've had just about enough of you idiots. <laughs> oh, so much going on. After 27 years, Nelson Mandela finally free in South Africa. I think that's a wonderful thing. Yeah, hopefully the end of apartheid. Apartheid sounds like a South African detergent, doesn't it? <laughs> it's new apartheid. The first detergent to separate the whites from the colors automatically. <laughs> oh, we got apartheid here in this country, folks. The PGA held a golf tournament at a country club in Birmingham, Alabama that discriminates against blacks. Ooh, in Alabama, what a surprise, huh? <laughs> so they decided they were going to appease all the sponsors that were pulling out of this tournament by admitting an honorary black member. <laughs> now, what's an honorary black member going to do at a country club in Birmingham, Alabama, folks? When they said, Caddy, I thought I was getting a car. What's this all about? <laughs> oh, I'm honorary. Okay, I gotcha. They gave Sylvester Stallone as the national spokesman for the Give the Gift of Literacy campaign. <laughs> it's like placing Cheech and Chong on the President's Council on Drug Abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Just say no, dude. Sixty bucks for an eighth is too much. Just say no. <laughs> employees at Disneyland. <laughs> like, what do they expect? You gotta be high to walk around in a giant goofy costume for eight hours a day. I got pulled over for swerving in the parking lot at Disneyland. You should have seen their drunk driving test. You put your left foot in, you take your... Just take my butt too, the hokey pokey, all right? Take me away. Oh, I went to Disneyland, I went to SeaWorld, and at SeaWorld, right in the middle of the park, they have a seafood restaurant. Now, what kind of a twisted insanity program is this? <laughs> No wonder these dolphins are jumping through the flaming hole. <laughs> What's the special, the seal that missed the horn that day? Come on. <laughs> oh, poor sea life can't get a break at all, man. Exxon had the nation's biggest oil spill in Alaska. Nine hours later, the captain of that vessel, the one that ran that tanker aground, was still legally drunk. Nine hours later. You think the next day his friends went, <laughs> you're not going to believe what you did last night. Did you? <laughs> what, 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 I stick my butt out the porthole window? No! <laughs> I dance with that lampshade on my head? No! All right, who did I screw? <laughs> Alaska. I'm sweating. Actually, that's grammatically correct. People don't sweat. Animals sweat. Men perspire and women are aglow. <laughs> Look at her. She's aglow like a pig. I see. <laughs> oh, censorship getting way out of control now. They're after Madonna again. Madonna was on the cover of Interview Magazine a while back. Magazine cover photo, she grabbed her crotch. So every time you see a picture of that magazine cover, there's a big red slash going through it. Like, what if in a sense for everything it's just a little bit sexually suggested what a red slash? Pretty soon you're seeing a red slash will be enough to turn guys on. <laughs> no left turn? <laughs> I need a 
need a cigarette, man. It's getting crazy that all these old rock and roll stars are coming out admitting that they did drugs back in the 60s. Ooh, hit me in the head with a brick. Huh? We know we bought the albums. Didn't America have a song called I Went Through the Desert on a Horse with No Name? Now just how hammered do these guys have to be to forget the name of the horse that they're sitting on? Giddy up. You? James Taylor, I've seen fire and I've seen rain. And I'll bet you did it without leaving your room either. That's it for me. You guys have been great. Hi, that was Brian Copeland you just saw on stage. Uh, I'm Mario Jordan for the Half Hour Comedy Hour.